Hi there, welcome back. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm quite fascinated with the LoRa Long Range Protocol. Now, today we're gonna to be having a look at the Kenkini system, a server and a client system where we can connect up sensors, controller relay, as well as four digital inputs from up to 500 meters. So let's have a look. So the ESP32 LoRa SX1278 gateway is supplied by Kenkini. It comes in a waterproof box and has an ESP32 S3 controlling it. It then has a LCD display. We've got four channel analog inputs, a digital input, an I2C bus extender, a one wire GPIO pin, as well as the LoRa module and a dip pin for setting the LoRa address. Having a look at the board itself, we can see our ESP32 S3 and it does have a connection for an external antenna. Next, we have our LoRa board. These are removable and can be replaced with the different frequency boards. We have a reset and a download button for the ESP. We have a USB-C for flashing the ESP32. It's supplied with power of from nine to 24 volts. We have our output relay, which has both normally closed and normally open pins. We have an external antenna connection for the LoRa. We have our LCD and our LoRa bus pins over here. And then we have the input pins. So ground and four analog inputs, ground and a one wire input. And then we have our D1 input, which can be used for connecting temperature sensors. Over here, we have the I2C bus. First of all, we need to flash the ESP32 chip. So I've downloaded this flashing tool from the Kenkini site. We then go into the tool. We select ESP32 S3 as the chip type, USB as the communication protocol, and then this opens up our flashes. Next, we download the bin file from the website once again, and we're then ready to go. So I've plugged this in. I select the COM port that I need to, and I press the start button. Next up, restart the device and search for the Wi-Fi AP created, starting with ALR. Type in 192.168.4.1, type in admin admin as the username and password. Next up, we go and set up the Wi-Fi connection. So select your Wi-Fi, go in there, change over to STA, type in your user and your Wi-Fi password and save. Now you can type the URL into your browser, type in admin admin as the username and password, and now you're into the system. The first thing you wanna do is go down to the protocol section, select general and type in the user details for MQTT. So you need to access the enable, turn the enable button on, then type in the broker address for your Home Assistant instance, select the port as 1883, type in your broker username and password that you've created in Home Assistant and save that. Once you've done that, you can go along to the LoRa section. Now, you need to set up your two devices, one as the server and the other one as the client. So first of all, enable LoRa on the device, select either server or client, select the frequency that you're going to use. Don't worry about the dip switches, they will be hardware set on the device itself. Next up, I selected a sensor for my device. Next up, I wanted to add a sensor to the client device. So I selected the 18B20 temperature sensor. I selected the GPIO of the input that I'd connected the sensor up to, and I wanted to display it on the screen and once again, save the settings. The device showed up immediately within Home Assistant under my MQTT integration. Now you'll see over here that we have two relays. Now obviously there's only one relay on each of the boards. So the first relay would be the server relay and the second relay 
would be the client relay. And as you can see, I can turn those on and off from via Home Assistant. Next up, we have the eight analog inputs. Now, once again, we've got four inputs from the server and four inputs from the client. We then have a digital input, number one and number two, and then we have the temperature sensor that I've connected up to the client device, communicating via LoRa over to the server. The server's going via, via Wi-Fi into the MQTT input on my home assistant. So please let me know in the comment below what you think of these devices and what you might use them for. A use case that I really thought of was if you've got a gate a long way away from your property, you could perhaps control your electric gate motor with this, plus you could have an input for a doorbell, as well as having various temperature and humidity sensors all controlled over LoRa. I'm amazed with it. Please, if you've enjoyed this comment, now, I haven't personally tested the range of these devices, but I see that Kenkenny has a test of at least 500 meters. And you've got those external antennas, so I'm sure you could boost it with a larger antenna. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>